Hi everybody, my name's Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I'm going to do another swipe today, another patchwork swipe. I did this patchwork swipe um, the other day. I'm really, really happy with it. I love how iridescent it is, how shiny it is. There's just a few things though I'd like to do differently. Um, I'd like to lay the paint on the canvas differently um, because some of the colours didn't come up through um, because there's no silicon in it. This is going to be a swipe with Australian Floatrol as the, as the cell activator. So I'm going to be more careful about how I layer the colours onto my canvas. I'm also going to start swiping from the centre. So the, these central two um, squares I had some problems with them getting a little bit swimmy because the paint was built was as I was swiping the paint it was pushing the paint and it was getting a bit swimmy so I'm going to start by swiping in the center and then work outwards so then I can then push any excess paint off over the edge so um, I loved this but I'm just going to try it slightly differently to see what results I get so these are the colours that I'm using. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you exactly what they are because they're just leftovers. Um, I think this one might be the phthalo cyanine blue. And I think this one might be the, that blue with some white. And this one is the same, but with a bit more white. So I think that I think they're all the same colour, just with extra bits of white. This pink, I have a feeling, is the Amsterdam Persian Rose. But these two purples are... I think um, the paint that was left on my worktop and then and I, I swipe, I clear the worktop at the end of a painting and collect any leftover paint. And this is what's left. Um, and then some silver, which I know has got the white added to it as well, because it's quite light. The mixtures, I think, are all with Oatrol, I think. Um, but because they're old, I've had to add extra water. So I can't really give you a recipe or a ratio for this other than my normal um re recipe um and one other slight unknown is i have a feeling they've got silicon in them i have a feeling this might be left over from a swipe and maybe this one and maybe even this one so the pinks and purples i'm just not sure so if there's silicon i will get different types of cells so it'll be interesting to see um, and then this is my my flow extender which is amsterdam white mixed with um the australian flow Atrol. So I'll put the recipe of this in the video description so you can see what, what I've what I've um, what I use normally. Um, so the canvas here I've got ready. Um, it's 30 by 40. No, it's not. It's a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas. Um, I'm ready. I've got the push pins in the back um, and I've leveled it just to check that it's level. Um, and just to show you quickly, I've got my huge Dutch pour on the wall there. I'm so happy with this. This is going to be moved to my dining room once I've got the um, nails in the wall. Um, but this literally dried yesterday, so I'm so excited about it. Um, if you're interested to see the video for this pour, I will put the, um, the link in the description as well so you can see that. Um, so let's get started. Right, for this swipe, what I'm going to do is just lay the colours over the entire canvas. I'm going to do patchwork, but I'm going to create the patchwork just with the swipe instead of with the base colours. Um, so when I did this last time, I just randomly poured it all over and I found that the colours underneath didn't show. So the ba the first colour I put down, there wasn't much showing through. The last colour I put down, there was loads, which might be obvious, but when I'm used to doing swipes with silicon, that didn't matter because all the silicon came up regardless of where, where, of where it was. So I want to do this differently. So I'm just thinking through. I'd quite fancy doing a band of maybe blues in the centre and then some purples at the edges with a bit of overlap. And then maybe then swiping, yeah, swiping from the centre, but squares. I'm not quite sure. I just want to, to do it a bit differently, really. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go diagonally with the colour. So I'm going to try to just do a thin layer of all the colours. And I'm going to try not to have them overlapping too much.
Now I just want to make sure that all the canvas is covered. So I'm just going to tilt it slightly from side to side just to try and get some cover and then I'm just going to use my finger to drag it the paint over the edges so I've, the lines don't matter themselves but what I'm trying to do is just keep some of the colours separate right I'm a bit worried that there is just too much paint <clears throat> on the canvas so the pattern as I said doesn't matter so I'm going to wreck it I'm going to tilt it just to get the whole canvas covered. So we're now not going to have straight lines. It doesn't matter in the slightest. It's just the separation of colours that I was trying to, to get. And the advantage of tilting it as well is that I get to see if there's any bits in the paint and there always seems to be a bit more in the paint if it's left if it's reused paint I guess they they start drying the paint and then you get bits on the on the um, the cups that they're in dried paint so it's actually quite a good thing to do to tilt it to get some paint off I think the other problem I had with the last port, the last patchwork swipe was there was just too much paint on my canvas. Right, I'm happy with that. And it also another massive advantage is that now most of these edges are covered except up here. So I'm just going to add a bit more here. Right, so that's all the blues and all the pinky purples. The only colour I haven't yet used is the silver. Um, I'd quite like some silver because it's iridescent, but I don't want to put too much paint. I'm thinking what I might do is just with my stick is now just drizzle some on. <laughs> So let's start swiping. So the swipe tool I'm going to use is plastic. It's a laminating pouch, so it's very thin. I'm going for slightly, I'm getting it dirty already. I'm going for slightly wider than last time because I'm going to do one, one width of this piece of plastic for, the, for, the, for one square. Right, I haven't got a tile, I've got a plastic bowl that's upside down. So I'm just going to put some of my swipe paint on there. Um, so to do a swipe, I'm just dipping the end of the plastic into the, the swiping paint. So you'll see I've got just a little bit of paint on the end there. So I'm going to start somewhere in the middle. I'm not going to worry if these these swiping squares are different sizes, different shapes. I just want to get them just quite straight, quite angular. So I'm just going to start. So I'm going to place the ends down right in the center so that all of that white is touching. And then I'm just going to drag it for I think about the distance of the width of that. Wow, that's pretty, that's so pretty. And then I'll just go again. So this bit here is perfect. This bit here is slightly swampy. So what I will do in a minute is swipe that away. So I've got a really nice, fresh, clean edge there. So if I do my next swipe from there, it 
you know, I'm not sure I've done a, just a blue and white painting before, but wow, those colours are amazing. I think I probably should just do blue and white. Blues and white. Um, and I'm always trying to swipe at a 45 degree angle. Sorry, 45 degrees, what am I talking about? 90 degree angle to the swipe that's nearby. So, for example, this one was or this one was vertical, so this one was horizontal. So alternate vertical and horizontal swipes the whole time. I finished I love this I, I'm so so pleased with it it's another one of these paintings that just seemed to evolve isn't how I intended it but I'm so happy with it um I thought it was all looking a little bit messy so what I've gone and done is defined the boxes with just a little bit of color so I've drawn the the stir stick through the edge of the along on the edge of the box with some of the paint and I think that has made it so the purple dark purple to define the purpley boxes and then the dark blue to define the blue boxes um there are lots of areas where the paint like here is a bit more swimmy but because I've defined it I don't think that matters so I'm really happy. I love the composition and the colours. I love that slightly offset blue line through the centre with the purple corners. I am so pleased with it. Um, let me take you in and show you some of the detail because it's amazing. Um, right, that sparkle that you can see there, that is the silver. So the silver, it's quite subtle but it is, it does seem to be in most of the boxes. So I'm so pleased that I added that and that I added it last, so it was right on top. So the, the lacing is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking close, you get so much detail, but I think because I've defined the boxes with the paint, if you stand back, you also get a really um, nice, attractive looking 
looking piece. So I'm really, really happy. Um, can you see there? I shouldn't show you this. This was my mistake. There's two almost like little balloon kisses and that's where the paint dripped. So I touched my finger in it and it created these lovely little flowers. <laughs> and there's another tiny one just there. I shouldn't show you that. That was where it went wrong. Um, but actually, that's quite sweet. Um, so there you go. I'm so happy. I really hope it dries well. There's a lot of paint on here. So that's my concern that there's too much paint, um, that it might swim or slide a bit or move a bit as it's drying. Um, but it's it, it's done. I've just got to wait and see. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. It's so different from anything I've done before. Um, I really, really like it. I, I love the colours. The I love the way I've got the blue band through the centre and then the purple corners. Um, I'm very, very tempted to experiment more with this and do rainbows, you know, a, rain, a selection of rainbow colours and then swipes in a similar way. Um, I really am happy with it. Um, let me take you in for a close up. The, the lacing is just beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Um, just so pleased with that. I, I think that might be one of my favourite squares where you've actually got the blue and the pink together or the purple together because in just a few places like there the blue has entered the purple box and there that's a really 50-50 with the purples and the blues. Um, the cells are just, the lacing is just beautiful. Um, I'm so happy I've outlined the boxes with some colour. I've kept it quite rough like there because I think if it was too neat it would just look wrong. Um, but I think it really just defines each of the patches, each of the boxes. Um, otherwise it just looks a little bit too too messy, too irregular. Um, just so happy, so different. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what everybody thinks of this. It's it's not it's not me very much, it's it's just so different, but really, really happy. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any suggestions of colour schemes or, or something else you'd like me to try with this technique, I'd love to hear from you. Um, great, thank you so much for watching. Bye.